Have you ever wondered what happened to the dinosaurs? Picture a world far removed from our own during the late Cretaceous period. This was a time when nature had painted a canvas of life, teeming with diverse creatures and plant life, dominated by the thunderous footfalls of dinosaurs. But then, in the cosmic blink of an eye, everything changed. A massive asteroid, a rogue traveler from the void of space, set its sights on our blue-green planet. Its destination, the Yucatan Peninsula, as it hurtled towards Earth, it carried with it the force of over a billion atomic bombs, an unthinkable power that would soon be unleashed. Imagine the moment of impact. A blinding flash, a deafening roar, the ground shaking with a force so tremendous it could be felt around the globe. The asteroid vaporized the area on impact, triggering earthquakes of a magnitude far beyond anything we've experienced in contemporary times. But the land was not the only victim. The sea recoiled in terror, giving birth to gargantuan tsunamis that swept over the coastlines with devastating force. The impact was so powerful it set the very air on fire, incinerating forests in an instant. The sky, once a brilliant blue, was now choked with ash and debris, a grim shroud that blotted out the sun. Day turned into night and the world was plunged into darkness. This cataclysmic event marked the end of an era. The reign of the dinosaurs, which had lasted for over 160 million years, was about to come to a sudden and tragic end. But the immediate devastation, the earthquakes, the tsunamis, the fires, was just the opening act of this apocalyptic performance. As the dust settled and the echoes of the impact faded, the survivors faced a world drastically changed. The sun was nowhere to be seen and the temperature began to drop. Life as they knew it ceased to exist, and yet this was merely the beginning of a catastrophic chain of events. In the wake of the asteroid's impact, the world changed drastically. The colossal force of the asteroid, equivalent to over a billion atomic bombs, ignited global wildfires. The inferno blazed through the lush forests, reducing them to ashes. This was not a localized event, but a worldwide catastrophe. The sky, once a vivid palette of blues and whites, was now a swirling abyss of grey and black. Ash, thrown up by the impact, darkened the heavens, casting an eerie, deathly pallor across the globe. This shroud blocked out the sun, the life-giving light and warmth extinguished in an instant. The earth, once a warm cradle of life, became a cold, desolate wasteland. The temperature plummeted dramatically. The once tropical climate of the late Cretaceous period was replaced by an icy, unforgiving chill that gripped the world in its cold fingers. The sudden change was too much, too soon, the creatures of the Earth designed for a completely different world were caught off guard. The dinosaurs, the magnificent beasts that ruled the Earth, were not spared. These creatures, adapted to a warm climate and lush vegetation, were suddenly thrust into a cold, barren world. Unable to adapt quickly to the drastic changes, they began to perish. The giants of the Earth, who once roamed freely, were now facing extinction. But the dinosaurs were not alone. Many other creatures, unable to cope with the sudden change, met the same fate. The world was filled with the silence of extinction, the once thriving ecosystems brought to their knees. Yet it was not the end. The Earth, in all its resilience, refused to surrender to the darkness. Life, in its tenacity, clung on to the fringes. In isolated pockets, away from the fires and the ash, small creatures survived. They huddled in burrows, hid in the crevices and held on. But even in the face of such devastation, life persisted in isolated pockets. The stage was set for a new era, an era of survival, adaptation and ultimately renewal. Despite the gloom and doom, life found a way. In the face of such catastrophic conditions, one might expect all life to be extinguished. But nature is tenacious, and even in the most challenging of circumstances, life clings on, adapts and evolves. In the wake of the asteroid's cataclysmic impact, small mammals, insects and other adaptable species began to reveal their resilience. They were the underdogs of the Cretaceous period, living in the shadows of the colossal dinosaurs. But now, with the dinosaurs gone, these small creatures had a chance to step into the spotlight. These survivors were able to endure the harsh post-impact world by taking advantage of their size and adaptability. 
Small mammals could burrow underground, shielding themselves from the harsh surface conditions. Insects, with their exoskeletons, could withstand the poisonous environment. These creatures, once overlooked, had become the torchbearers of life on Earth. As the Earth slowly began to recover, these adaptable species found themselves in an environment teeming with opportunities. The extinction of dominant species had opened up ecological niches, vacant roles in the ecosystem that were ready to be filled. This led to a burst of evolution, an event known as adaptive radiation. Species began to diversify rapidly, adapting to fill these empty niches. Insects evolved into a multitude of forms, colonizing every possible habitat. Small mammals too started to diversify, evolving into a variety of forms to exploit the newly available resources. They grew larger and more complex, eventually giving rise to the diverse array of mammals we see today. This period of rapid evolutionary change marked the rise of mammals as the dominant life forms on Earth. It was a time of rebirth and renewal, a testament to the power of life's resilience. Yet, this process did not happen overnight. It took centuries for the Earth to heal, for life to reclaim its hold and for the world to start teeming with life once again. The Earth was on its way to recovery, but it would take centuries. The journey was long and arduous. But life has always found a way. With the dinosaurs gone, new life forms had the chance to thrive. The Earth, having suffered a cataclysm of unimaginable scale, was now a blank canvas. The slate had been wiped clean, making way for a new era of life. The extinction of dinosaurs and other dominant species had left a void, an ecological vacuum waiting to be filled. In the ashes of the old world, small, adaptable creatures began to rise, seizing the opportunity that extinction had left behind. These were the mammals, a group of warm-blooded vertebrates that had lived in the shadows of the dinosaurs for millions of years. With the dinosaurs gone, they were no longer confined to the margins of existence. Instead, they were free to explore, expand and evolve. As the Earth began to heal, mammals diversified rapidly, filling the niches left vacant by the dinosaurs. They evolved into a myriad of forms, adapting to environments ranging from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, from the densest jungles to the most barren deserts. They grew in size, complexity and diversity. Some took to the skies, evolving wings and the ability to fly. Others returned to the sea, becoming the ancestors of today's whales and dolphins. Amidst this explosion of life, the Earth began to teem with life once again. The new ecosystems were more complex, more diverse and more resilient than ever before. The age of reptiles had ended and the age of mammals had begun. This was a time of unprecedented change, a time when life was rewriting its own rules. It was a time of evolution, adaptation and survival. It was a time of transformation. A time when the meek inherited the earth. And so, after millions of years of evolution and change, the mammals stood triumphant. They had survived the apocalypse, they had adapted to a world in flux, and they had emerged as the dominant life forms on the planet. The stage was now set for the evolution of humanity. The story of the asteroid impact is a testament to the resilience of life. This event, which occurred millions of years ago, stands as a stark reminder of the cyclical nature of existence on our planet. It's a story of endings and beginnings, of extinction and renewal, and it has shaped the world as we know it today. The Earth has undergone numerous cycles of life and death, each one unique, yet fundamentally the same. Just as the dinosaurs once roamed the Earth, only to be replaced by small mammals, so too have countless species risen and fallen throughout history. Each cycle of life gives way to a new era, filling the Earth with an ever-changing array of creatures. These cycles are not merely historical events, they are the very fabric of our planet's history, a testament to the tenacity and adaptability of life. Each extinction event, while devastating, opens up space for new forms of life to emerge, to adapt, to thrive. It's a process of constant change, of evolution and adaptation. Understanding these cycles is crucial. They teach us about the resilience of life, about its capacity to endure even the most catastrophic events. They show us that life, in all its forms, is a force to be reckoned with, capable of surviving and thriving in the face of adversity. But these cycles also serve as a warning, 
They remind us of the fragility of life, of the delicate balance that exists between species and their environment. They show us that even the most dominant species can be wiped out in an instant, their reign ended by a single catastrophic event. So what can we take away from this? The story of the asteroid impact and the end of the dinosaurs is a reminder of our place in the grand scheme of things. It teaches us humility, resilience and respect for the natural world. It shows us that life is a cycle, always changing, always evolving. And so from the ashes of the dinosaurs arose a new dawn of life on Earth.